Firstly, let me start by saying I am not a welder. I learned to weld by buying a welder, watching YouTube videos and having a go. If you search on eBay or Amazon for welding rods, you typically find two kinds. 7018s and 6013s. What do these numbers mean? The 60 and the 70 part is their tensile strength, 60,000 psi and 70,000 psi. Uh, the, I think the 1 is what angles you can use them at, like straight up and down and vertical and horizontal and overhead and uh, I don't know honestly, I, I, Google it, There's a, you can get a welding rod for everything, every number, every kind. Where are they? These are 6013s, these are two, two and a half, these are three and a half, threes? Two and a half threes? I think he's 3.2s, 3.2s, sorry, 3.2 and two and a half. I've got 3.2s in the 6013s. So, 7018s are supposed to be for structural welding. I don't know what kind of weld difference they make, we're going to find out. And your 6013s are your general purpose, weld anything, anytime. I think this is a five kilo box, you can get that for a tenner. There's, well, how, let's see, approximately, to say, how good is your German? Not very good. Eh, oh, five kilos, 11 pounds, or approximately 173 welding electrodes. So, here we have some little bit of angle iron, and I'm going to weld up the middle with 6013, and these ones, I'm going to weld up the middle with 7018s and we'll see what the weld looks like, see if it's any different. I have never welded this before, it'll be as much a surprise for me as it is for you. So for fairness I'm going to run them both uh, a 3.2, I'm going to run this upside down. Uh, 7 to 18, super optimal, it doesn't say it's what size it is. So this is a 3.2 millimeter electrode. That's the metal bit on the inside. And this, oh, oh, well, this is a 6013. Now, I don't know if you can see, so the metal is the same thickness, but the outer flux on the 70. 718 is a lot thicker. Like I say, weld them all here, electrode there. Welders set at 100 amps, which is about middle of the road for both of them. I'm going to weld 718 over here, 6013 over here. Let's spark them up and see what happens. Well, it's quite difficult to start this road. Wow, it's an absolute pain in the cunt to start. Okay, sexy thirteen. Round the camera. Is 
Stop it. I wish I could clump these down. Well, well, I'll give it that. I'm tempted to turn this one over and try the other side. Okay, I've taken the current up to 130 amps. So I can only assume I need more current to run 7018s. Interesting. So let's get the old shipping hammer. So that is your 6015. That is a 7018 with a really different colour of metal. What can I say? If you're like me, a hobby welder, 6013s all day, every day. Strong enough for what you'll be doing, easy to start. Nice to weld with. I'm sure you can weld in all positions with them. Seven, seven 18s, they either need a lot of current to weld with or a lot more skill to weld with. Well, maybe both. Out of pure curiosity, I jammed the knob two bits together and turned the current, well, current up to 130 for the 7 18s. And you know what? Once you get it started, it actually welds not too badly. Ha, it's hot. Ha, it's hot. Wow, it's really hot. It's not a terrible weld. <gasps> So yeah, 7016s for, or 7018 sorry, for really heavy, heavy duty industrial welds. Oh, is this actually hot enough or cool enough that I can... Yeah, it's hot. Oh, gee, I'm sorry. You can't see what I can see. Ah, ah, it's hot! You see in there? Can you... It's just started to drip through a little bit. Ah, it's hot! Blimey! Yeah, you wouldn't be breaking that weld, Nori. <laughs> 